Malaysia must learn from other countries which relaxed restrictions for those fully vaccinated against COVID-19 which led to a rise in the number of cases, says the Health Ministry. Health Deputy Director General Dr. Hisham Shah Mohammad Ibrahim noted that several countries in Europe and US had allowed social activities to take place due to their high vaccination rates. However, these countries might have opened up prematurely and they are now seeing an increase in cases. Hisham Shah said the government was carefully approaching the matter, adding that it must first ensure the country ramps up its vaccination rate and continues practicing strict compliance to SOPs. Prime Minister Mahiuddin Yassin previously said relaxation of certain SOPs for those who are fully vaccinated will be announced in the next two days. Health Deputy Director General Dr. Chong Chi Keong, who heads the Greater Klang Valley Special Task Force, said the ministry was recording around 80 to 100 brought in dead cases per week. Chong also said there was a high acceptance rate among the general public since the ministry's virtual COVID-19 assessment centers began operating a week ago. However, he revealed that half of those being monitored by virtual CACs did not complete their health assessment tool on the MySajatera mobile application. Meanwhile, Dr. Stephen Chow, president of the Federation of Private Medical Practitioners Association Malaysia, said the latest COVID-19 figures did not reflect well on Malaysia's performance in controlling the pandemic. In a statement, he claimed critically ill patients in the Klang Valley have had to wait up to four hours for an ambulance, before being referred to various hospitals for available beds. He urged all community and civil society leaders to organize their own neighborhood emergency care networks to provide medical assistance to COVID-19 cases in their vicinity. Mm -hmm. 